Yo guys, Jane's Rain Reviews here. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to implement the now playing Spotify widget for your live stream. Before the video starts, I'd like to mention that on this channel, I primarily stick to techie reviews and tutorials. Tutorials on Wednesdays and techie reviews on Saturdays. So if you guys are new here, consider subscribing. I'd also like to mention I stream on twitch.tv slash Jaden Coyer. Links down below in the video description below. If you have a question about anything I talk about in this video or would just like to hang out and chat, feel free to click the link down below. And without further ado, let's hop into the video. So the awesome thing about the now playing Spotify widget is that your viewers don't have to ask you what song you're playing. It will be displayed up on your live stream and it'll be easy for your viewers to know exactly what music you're playing on your live stream. So let's install it. So the first thing you want to do is head over to last.fm. I will leave a link down below in the video description below you're going to want to go up in the top right and click on join once you've clicked on join you're going to want to create your own account this includes a username email and password now once you've created an account you're going to see a little verification right up on the top you're going to want to verify your email and then your account will be completed now i've already made an account but i'm going to be showing you guys how to link your spotify to this account so the first thing you want to do is hover over your icon in the top right corner you're going to want to scroll down to where it says settings you're going to want to click on settings then head over to applications now under applications you're going to see two spotify icons now go ahead and connect the new one and if you have a premium account you can connect this one now this does work without a premium spotify account just to let you guys know that now all you simply got to do is sign into your spotify account and your account is successfully connected and that's all when it comes to connecting your account to last.fn then you're going to want to head over to a website called pixelchat.tv now this website is actually where we get the animation for the now playing spotify widget so all you're going to want to do is log in with twitch once you've logged in with your twitch you're going to want to authorize your twitch account now once you've made an account you'll be on the home page and it'll look something like this you're going to want to have it over to the left hand side and click on overlays once you've clicked on overlays you're going to go up to the top right where it says create new overlay once you've clicked on that you're going to scroll down to where you find now playing click on that and add it now we'll have it right here but we need to do some tweaking to this so you're going to, want to click on the edit button right here and you really don't have to change any of the overlay title or the description but what you want to do is scroll down to the bottom where it says last.fn username and we need to bring our username from our last.fn and link it to the pixelchat.tv so we need to go back over here hover over your icon and this is your username in my case it's jaden1245 so all i would do is go down right here and go jaden1245 and we have our username inside of it. So I just inserted my username and as we can see, it is showing the now playing of what I am playing on Spotify. Now, if yours is not showing up, it could be one of two problems. The first thing you're gonna wanna try to do if it's not showing up is click on your logo. Then you're gonna make sure this is green. Mine was gray and that's why I didn't pop up and I was a little bit confused until I did some troubleshooting and found out that I need to actually link it inside of here. It might just be not linked properly, but it should be if you follow the steps properly. Another reason why it might not be showing up is that you have stay open at all times checked off. What this means is that it'll only come up for five seconds and then disappear. You're gonna have this clicked on just for now so that we can be tweaking and see exactly what we're working on. So if we scroll up to style, we have background tint. Now I found that a blackish gray color works really well for this. You can implement if you have a brand color or something like that, that would look pretty cool too. But I have got found out that gray does work pretty consistently with most songs. Now you can change the text color as well as the theme and I'm gonna change the theme down to small this is what most streamers do this is nice because it makes it a little bit more clean and minimal and i feel like the large size is a little too big but this is all up to personal preference you can change it however you like then if we go down to the font face we can click on this and you can pick and choose between some of the fonts that they already have implemented or you can go over to personal font and actually drag and drop a file of a font that you'd like this is super cool because if you have a brand where you have a specific font for maybe all your Twitch panels, everything like that, you can bring it in right here. Next, let's talk about the corner rounding. Now, this is all personal preference. The higher you bring it up, the more rounded the edges are. If you bring it down to zero, it's a boxy look. You can go with whatever you'd like. I'm gonna go ahead and go with around 25. I just like the look of this, but you can do it however you like. Now, if you're gonna be using this widget and you're gonna only want it to show up for a certain duration of a time, you're gonna wanna unclick stay open all the time, unclick that. Then you're gonna wanna go down to customize and actually change the length of the pop-up in seconds. 
Now this is up to you. I'm gonna keep mine open all the time just to show you guys how this works. But if you wanted to set a specific length and it would pop up every five seconds, that is all up to you. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually get this widget inside of either OBS or Streamlabs OBS. You're gonna to wanna to go up to the top and it's gonna say open overlay and new tab. Click on that and you're gonna to wanna to copy this link right here. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is head over to either Streamlabs OBS or OBS. This does work for both. You're gonna to wanna to click the little plus bar. You're gonna to wanna to go over to browser source, click add source. I'm gonna be adding a new one. I'm just gonna name it music, click add source. It'll bring up a link right here, delete the URL, paste the URL that we took from the website right here, go back, and there you go. You have it right here. Now to show you that this actually works, if I switch a song, what it'll basically do is have a different animation. It'll rotate a little bit and then it'll switch up the song. Now the cool thing about this little rotating widget is that you can customize it however you like inside of either OBS or Streamlabs OBS. You can minimize it to make it small, put it in either one of the corners, and I just overall think it's a really clean and cool widget to add to your stream that makes your stream look way more professional. Now, if you guys did go on to find this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe as well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all in the next video. Oh my, oh my goodness, that was sick.